She's been with me the whole way. We met when I was probably 15, and so we've known each other for a long time. And uh, you know, we started dating initially like four, four and a half years ago. So um, you know, she was there for the ups and downs, and uh, you know, saw how tough things could be at times. And you know, numerous conversations as soon as like a year ago, where I was telling her, you know, that things were getting tough, and that I was uh, really starting to doubt myself. So I know that uh, you know, as things started to turn around, and the people who have kind of been with me the whole way. It's been a really special thing for all of us because uh, not just myself involved, but everyone who's really supported me the whole way can really, you know, understand what, what I've been through and uh, truly the depths of the, you know, the doubts and the moments of lows that you do hit um, when sport has always been your life and tennis has always been my life. So being uh, in the position now where I've finally, you know, gotten to a career high and then moving forward and feeling like, you know, some of my dreams that I thought were not obtainable anymore are still attainable. It's a pretty, pretty exciting time. I just tried to be a big support system for, her, for him and no matter what he needed, I was there for him and just reminded him like how good he was as long as you put in all the hard work, it's going to pay off eventually. Just keep holding on to your dream and it's going to work. You guys are Mr. and Mrs. Harrison now. We are. Um, can you tell us a little bit about um, the big day and, and how that occasion went? It honestly was a dream come true. Everything came together and it was a great big party and I'm just so happy to get to spend the rest of my life with Ryan. It was funny because I was like hearing, you know, from friends of mine, yeah, you might get nervous and that sort of thing. And like, I mean, even up to like five minutes before, it, it never, like that excitement was only the thing I felt. I never felt the uh, temptation of like wondering, is this the right <laughs> thing or that sort of thing. All I felt was just excitement and, uh, you know, it just kind of confirmed everything I already knew was that, you know, we were meant to spend the rest of our lives together. And, um, you know, it, it's, uh, not like too many things change for us. I mean, it, it's a big thing for us to really make the commitment and get married, but in, in the relationship, we already knew um, how we felt about each other. And so to make it official was, of course, really special, but we feel like uh, life has carried on and continue to be happy. Early on in my career, you know, people asked me like, okay, what are you thinking? You know, what's different now? And the one thing that I'd tell myself was, you know, I, I, I gotta get out there and I was putting a lot of result-based stuff on uh, on each, each match and uh, I think that in a way it made me a really good tennis player because I was so dedicated but it did uh hurt in, in other ways because it, each match felt like it was life or death and um, you know to turn things around um, I have just been focusing on improving you know and, and for me you know my mentality has kind of been it would not be fun to lose first round here but the worst thing would be if a year from now here that I'm not a better player than I am right now so my goal is to just try and take something positive away from every day um, trying to make every every match I play win or lose a productive match so um, you know whenever I play Sunday Monday Tuesday whatever day it is um, I know that the following day after I play I'll be able to look back on that match and know that it was a productive match and I'll be improving and I'm hoping that I'll be improving as I'm passing through in the draw